and welcome to the Autocar Show. There's Yeti, another SUV coming into the Indian market. Now, when you hear the name Yeti, you think of the abominable snowman, huge, large, big. But take a look. The Skoda Yeti is actually tiny, compact, and very car-like. It claims to have everything that you'd want out of an SUV. Now, the Indian market does have a large gap in the SUV segment, and the Skoda Yeti is about to step right in the middle. Will it fit in? Let's find out. Once you get past the compact size, you see the SUV aggressiveness in the strong bulldog jaw with the metal underguard. A good look at the front with the bulging headlamps, integrated fogs that form the dimple cheek, and an unmistakable Skoda grille make you begin to like the look. From the side, it's square and boxy, but in a nice way. Almost mini Cooper is. The rear tailgate doesn't carry the square look. The rounded contour of the lights soften the lines. You may not like the Yeti instantly, but it really is quite appealing. And trust me, it grows on you from when you first see it in the flesh. I definitely give it a thumbs up. From the way the doors close, you begin to understand that this is typically Skoda's strong build. On the inside, it's cleanly laid out and everything feels good quality. From the texture of the dash to the door handles, knobs and switch gear. For style, there are the chrome ring dials and the black and beige interior. Lots of glass gives it an airy feel. The only thing we missed was a sunroof. Now, the Yeti's compact exterior dimension suggests that there may not be much room inside, but be ready to be surprised. There's lots of space inside and a very large boot too. Not only that, the seats can contort themselves into all sorts of positions to give you added storage. Now, that's pretty been there, done that. I mean, most cars have the seats that fold up, but here's the party trick. Pick of two simple levers and you can lift, well not so easily, but you can lift the entire seat out. Oh, but it's not so easy. And you can do it for all three. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you've really got masses and masses of luggage, this is what the Yeti can do to you. As you saw, that required a bit of muscle. But imagine that, a camping trip where you can even spend the night in the back of your own car. Plus, you get to carry luggage, cycle, skis, whatever you please. But if you just hum do hamare do, well, maybe you can call this a yogi instead of a yeti because the amount of different positions of feeling that this car can get into, it's pretty incredible. Let's show you one more. No carrying of comfort, the Yeti offers it all up. The seats slide together easily and you have the option of having just two captain style seating at the rear. So far, the Yeti has really impressed. But let's get it out on the road and see whether it can really conquer the terrain. Now we had a lovely location and the Yeti did just fine getting off-road to get here. But we wanted to push it a bit more and see what it could do. The Apple ground clearance and short it went over just about everything and the full time 4 and 4 dealt with a flush and the Yeti climbed up the little hill quite easily and was down again in a flash. So, the Yeti can be a mountain goat, oops, can be a Yeti when you want. Well, how impressive will it be as an urban SUV? Well, back on the tarmac to find out. Out on the normal road, the 2.0-litre common rail engine really surprised me. This engine doesn't have diesel lag, which is really the nicest part about it. You know, you can amble around at low speed. You don't have to shift the gears too much to get going again, which means driving in city in the traffic is going to be really easy. It's also a very responsive engine. It's got a nice torquey nature, so put your foot down and you have power wherever you want. Actually, this engine is really quite fun to drive. The torquey character of this engine allows you to enjoy driving this vehicle, but the fun is all concentrated at the bottom end and the mid-range. Now that's really ideal actually for the Indian driving condition. 
Now, once you test the Yeti, you will find that it labors at the top end. Pushing the Yeti and trying to go flat out is not what it's meant for. Tip it into fifth and cruise, and the Yeti will do really well. The gearbox is nice, just that the throw is quite short and it takes a little getting used to at first. Well, so far the Yeti is racking up the points for me. Spacious, smart and fun to drive as well. Even round the corner, the Yeti was showing me just what it could do. The steering is nicely weighted. It gives you good feedback. Body control is good. Straight line stability is good. Basically, the Yeti just feels very, very car-like. Not like an SUV in its handling. Despite the high ground clearance, the Yeti sits quite snug to the road and has really you feel quite confident throwing it around corners and even out on the highway, it's got good straight line stability. And coupled with its compact dimensions and ease to drive attitude, the Yeti makes a good urban SUV too. So it's practical, but let's just see how comfortable it is because lots of you are going to be chauffeured around in this one. Now on the outside, the Yeti looks quite small and compact, so you don't quite expect the space that you get inside. Legroom is great for a tall person at the back, which is quite nice. And what's really surprising actually is the Yeti looks so low and car-like from the outside. I didn't quite expect the amount of headroom that there is in here at the back. So for a compact SUV, thumbs up for the Yeti from me. The central console does make it a bit difficult for the third passenger at the rear. The seats are comfortable and under thigh support is good with the lean angle being comfortable for long journeys. Now so far we've really been raving about the Yeti but it does have its downsides too. The ride is a bit firm, you do feel the road come through quite a bit. But this also means it's quite flat, there's good body control. So if you ask me to put it into perspective, I'd rather have this slightly firm ride than a soft one that tosses you around like a salad at the back. The Yeti has really ticked off the right boxes with us and seems to have everything one wants. The only thing is Skoda have to shake off the reputation they are building for lackluster after sales. That done, the Yeti will really be a vehicle that's a serious contender in the Indian market. The Skoda Yeti is creating a new segment in the Indian market as a compact SUV. Now when people see the price tag, that's exactly what they're going to feel. This is a bit compact in size. But then you've got to look beyond that. This is really a well-engineered, capable vehicle. It's spacious enough once you get on the inside. It's got a good engine and it's got a good boot as well. And if you don't want that big, bulky SUV that's difficult to deal with in city traffic and still you don't want a sedan, here's something that sits nicely plumb in the middle. It's very car-like in its manners and it still handles the outdoors like an SUV. <laughs>